What's up Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose a possible fuel pump problem on your bike by electrically jump starting it. We've got three methods of powering our pump on this test setup. We have the easiest method which is the Taco Moto fuel pump transfer kit. This will include an electrical connector that will go straight from the battery to the pump itself. If you don't have this, you could do this with a set of wires. We just have some 18 gauge wire there that we stripped the ends of. And then a little bit more sophisticated way of doing the same thing than just bare wires is wires here that are jumper cable wires with alligator clips. Before you begin, absolutely make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy if you're working around electricity and fuel. You can do this procedure with the tank on or off the bike. We've removed it from the bike just for simplicity's sake uh, for, for filming. If you have this on the bike, this is the easiest thing to do because you don't have to have visual access to the bottom of the connectors here. So let's begin with the simplest method. So if you have this fuel transfer kit, you can, with the bike still, with the tank still on the bike, you can easily reach in there, plug that in. Once that's connected, then with the battery still on the bike, you can pull this connector here, connect that to your positive cable. And then when you touch that to the negative, you can hear that the pump is running. For the second easiest method, this is where we're going to jumper into our connector here and you'll see that there is a plus and a negative. So that's obviously battery positive and negative. This can be a tiny bit tricky. So my technique is to first put your cable in there, your alligator in there and grab a hold of the positive pin. And so I'll connect this over to the positive side of the battery. And then I will connect the negative side of the clip before I do anything with it. And now this is where it's a little bit sketchy. This is why we like to have a fire extinguisher and you just assume the risk of working with live 12 volts electrical. And then with your negative, you're just gonna go up in here and very, very carefully touch it to the negative post and there your pump is running. The third method, which is the diciest of all, is where you're gonna take your, your bare wires, you'll connect them to your battery. Note that I've made sure these are very far apart so they don't touch. Again, observing the polarity, positive one is out here on the left and the middle one is the negative. You're just gonna slide these guys up in there. Attempting to touch those pins, you might wanna hook the ends of these just a little bit to encourage them to go around those posts. You can lay that in there and have it touch. And once it's connected, you hear the pump is running. So here we have a pump assembly where the motor is frozen, it's locked up. This is a bad unit, but let me show you some of the ways that you could have a failure. We looked at this connector here. Uh, I've never seen where anything within this molded plastic piece, any electrical failures here, I've never seen it. Uh, but then you have an open Molex type connector here. These are our wires. The red is the positive one, and then this, this one in the middle, there's two wires, that's negative. The blue is the low fuel sender. We'll talk about that in a second. So it's these two wires on this side. That's our positive and negative. There's a open type connector in there. I've seen where these wires break. So if you pull your fuel pump assembly apart, and now you're trying to troubleshoot it out. You can see if you've got a fault there. Uh, the wires themselves have never really seen any issues with them, but then you come down here to the bottom and you have these two connectors and we've seen where you'll have a broken wire as it goes into the crimp. That's something that um, have had failure items before, broken wire here on the negative side. We've also seen where the electrical connector has broken off as it goes into the fuel pump motor itself. Then we've seen where these, these compression type connectors, they don't have a good seal, they don't have a good crimp onto the post and so You'll have loose intermittent electrical connections there. These are all ways that we've seen these pumps fail. This is that blue wire. This goes to the thermistor that's on the sender here, and that turns on your low fuel light. It takes a ground also, and so that's the ground for the, that circuit. And then the ground here for the pump itself, Those both, both of those grounds come up here, and they're connected here up at the top. You see the two wires, one for each of those things there in our connector. So these are failure areas inside of the pump itself. So uh, that's how we do this. And if you have a failure on the bike side, meaning your pump works, it completely works and there's no fault there, then your problem's over on the bike. And that might be the ECU relay, fuel pump relay, one of the fuses, 
you could have uh, an ECU problem. So there's a number of things that could be going on on that side. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like, subscribe. Go out, get some adventure.